Hello everybody, Manithrall here, welcome to the weekly update video for RS3. Now this week we have Thog Smashing buffs. So, uh, this is also an event because this is also taking place during the game jam. So, the mods are a little bit busy on that, but this is a pretty awesome event. So, uh, from today until 2359 game time, October 8th, uh, you'll be able to find Thok hanging around War's Retreat. Uh, where he's brought a bundle of buffs for the game. So, the buffs are as follows. All the way from Damonheim, uh, we have two mighty metal cauldrons full of the homemade overlook potion. Uh, if you take a sip, uh, you'll get the boost and get the effects of the Elder Overload potion. If you're already able to craft the Overload Sal potions, you'll instead get the effects of an Elder Overload Sal potion so basic you get your over, uh, elder overload if you already have the solve you get the elder overload solve and death uh yeah death, death has graciously agreed to waive all death costs for the duration of the event so members will respond at a nearby hub instead of death's office uh tier four luck is active throughout the event so there's no need to worry about that for a little bit. Sign of Life cooldowns will reset upon entering a bank area, so this is including a sign granted via the defense skill cape perk. Combat auras will immediately reset their cooldown when they end. Uh, you'll be able to choose your Soul Reaper task and it will credit you double points. Uh, there's a little asterisk by this. Uh, Slayer Masters will offer a choice between two tasks without consuming uh, Slayer VIP tickets. Uh, but also, these event, uh, these buffs are not available for Ironman players. And Ironman players will receive the choice of Soul Reaper tasks, but not double the points. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, but then they'll also help get people kind of boosted into get using Necromancy across the board through you know other forms of you know just outside of the regular bossing uh so this is to kind of get people out there to try it out push it see what they can actually make out of it and some sneak peeks into what is going on with game jam so mod stew is having a quest and lore related update uh but this is the updated portal to ribus in, in the extinction quest uh, added option to Sentus and Cathedral to replay uh, 2021's weekly overhead god dialogue. Uh, so there is some information there. Uh, there's going to be further progress, a less request requirement project mentioned in the previous Game Jam summary. Thanks to Grateful received graph from the outsourced QA team through the Game Jam week. Over half the 40 ish affected quests have, been, have completed testing. Uh, so this project is significantly closer than it used to be. Uh, Mod Foul, a spirit stamp, and associated content. Now it's not saying what the associated content is, uh, but it is saying about looking more stamp to your step. Uh, but this is basically a new ability that will not be triggered um, by revolution. And it is unlocked by completing the going postal quest. But what it does is you summon a spectral stamp at your location to teleport to later. The effect only lasts 20.4 seconds and it has 15 tiles. So you can't like go super far and, you know, abuse the system too much. <laughs> uh, but Mod Black Witch and Mod Alex are doing a Kandaran graphical refresh. So this is some of my favorite stuff right here and I'm actually very excited for this so you can see the different sceneries here right near Profundus and it absolutely makes everything look insanely amazing um, yeah it's all around like you know the underground pass or I don't know if Arduin's going to be in it because it doesn't show it in here but there's all sorts of areas near Arduin the mountain trail going to perfect this is in here uh the lava near the near the special namrock altar for the rune crafting is there all sorts of stuff and man does it look good 
and Mod D Barker is doing a monster concept refresh. So, so far there is some reworks and the artist renditions are here. Uh, I actually seen one of them on Twitter, but they have one here for the Banshee, Walasaki, Rocknar, uh, Frog Eel, which they actually had that on Twitter, probably a few other outlets where you could actually vote between A and B for which one you think looks cooler. And even the Star Spray is actually being looked at to potentially getting a massive overhaul. Uh, but Mod Camel, Abe, Rain, and some others are also doing a Skelly Dino Boss, so we will finally have a Rex Matriarch um, Necro Boss coming to play. And that's just the stuff that they mentioned. There is other stuff going on too, including uh, Mod Ramen's Cape Particles, Mod Shogun, Mod Dorm's Quality of Life updates, Mod Chaos's uh, Damonheim Archaeology, <laughs> and that's just some of the stuff to mention. And then also we have a Rusical is coming, uh, if you're not sure, it's a RuneScape themed musical. Uh, but that is coming to YouTube. Uh, so do get ready to check it out and it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun but i believe if i heard correctly there is going to be some choices you can make in this uh there's also the merch update so angelscape is having a few uh key rings here i mean honestly just go ahead and get yourself one even if you want one for show there is a maintenance notice and this will be starting at september 26th so it's tomorrow tuesday at 9.30 BST, which is 8.30 game time. And this will last approximately 150 minutes, give or take. You know, there's no guarantee when it'll officially end until it officially ends, but that's what they're guesstimating. And then we got the Treasure Hunter calendar, which is still going on right now. You have Mysteria, well, which is actually going on now, I should say, uh, which is starting September 26th and ends the 27th is Mysteria. And then on starting September 28th and ending, uh, yeah, September 28th and ending October 2nd is the loot rooms. So if you don't remember that, do check it out. Patch notes is a little dry this week uh, because uh, everybody is focusing on Game Jam products. Well, not products, but projects, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. And then we have the community showcase. Up first, we have. Poppy Flower showing their showing off their cape a little bit uh, with their brand new pet Omen. And then we have Missy Winter enjoying a little bit of gardening in this time of necromancy themed everything. And then we also have Boss Boss Man. Uh, this is by Was Were RS. Uh, three years and 5,845 hours was the Reaper. And that is the golden title. So that is pretty awesome. And Wazi RS is going, I completed the craziest achievement in RuneScape. So, and it took them 3.5 years to do that. So these are big achievements that these two got. And then let's discuss RS is going over the RS lore for the Ascension creatures, which they have a rather interesting background. So do check that out. Escape for screenshots. Uh, Miss Caitlin is enjoying some of these snowy sites, getting ready for winter that's just right around the corner, depending on where you're at. And Kawik is enjoying some a little bit more of a spooky scener uh, scenery uh, right outside of Jernor. So enjoy those. And then we have some pink skirt events, which is Penguin Tour, hosted by Miss Misty. Wednesday, September 27th at 2000 Game Time, World 60, locations, Edgeville Bank, FC's Miss Misty. For them, we have Viragos by Mercy and Dung Titan, Saturday, September 30th at 1300 game time. World 35 Falador Borehole, uh, FC is the Dung Titan. And that's actually it for this week, guys. Uh, we should be seeing some more stuff, but in the meantime, enjoy the buffs you get from this event and try to enjoy it at least, <laughs> okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later, guys. Thank you.